Jennifer Hernan at jenniferhernan.com. Today we're going to talk about how to get it all done. And this is without a doubt the most frequent question I get from people who use social media as the primary way to market, build, and grow their business. Because let's face it, social media is never done. You ne I would bet that you never close out your work day thinking, okay, I'm done now. There's no more that I can do here because that's just not the nature of social media. There's always another connection you can make. There's always another status update or another post, another tweet that you can put out there. There is not a finish line to social media. And that can be very, very frustrating to those of us who are, uh, you know, trying to do everything we possibly can to build a strong, good business. So I'm gonna give you three tips for getting it all done. And the first one, you may have a little bit of trouble wrapping your head around, but you've gotta do it. And that is, you've got to come to grips with the fact that you're not gonna get it all done. You just have to put it to bed because you know social media doesn't have an end point. So you have to wrap your head around the fact I'm not going to get it all done. And once you come to terms with that, it's going to be so much easier to love your business because always feeling like you're behind, always feeling like you're inadequate or not accomplishing what you need to accomplish just leads to frustration and burnout and unhappiness. And that's not why you started your own business. That's not why you're online being your own boss, building your own empire. You're here to feel good and happy and relaxed in your job, which is your online business. So first I want you to start getting your head around the fact that it's never going to be all done and be at peace with that. And how are you going to be at peace with that? That comes to my second tip, which is to schedule your business. Because if you schedule what you're going to do in your business, when you put in that time, then you can declare yourself done. Now, I'm not going to tell you what your schedule should be, although I think it's a fabulous idea to work in 50-minute increments. If you can work 50 minutes and then do something totally, I like, I love to quilt, so if I can even like stitch one block together and take 10 minutes off and do that, then, you know, that just gives me the break I need. But if you can work 50 minutes on and 10 minutes off, that's great. Now, I know a lot of times in my life, especially since I stay home with my kids, I'm talking about working in 10 or 15 minute increments. So what I'm going to tell you is to take a realistic look at your life and your day and plan it. Plan what you can do. Okay, I've got this much time. I know I've got to get my social media done. Plus, I've got to get my other sort of real work done. I've got to get my content creation and my sales materials and my product outline done. So you've got to divide up the day to maybe you'll have an hour to spend on social media and two hours to spend on doing your other work. Well, once you've spent your hour on social media, it is done and use a timer. And it doesn't matter who or what you have or haven't gotten to, and when your time is up, it is done. Because you have to make time for the other, um, you know, real revenue generating things in your business. It doesn't do you any good to drive people to your blog or your website if you don't have any content there, or if you don't have any products or services to sell them. So you can't, you, you can't ignore the other part thinking, well, I need to do more, more, more on social media to have a presence there. Schedule your day and stick to that schedule. Then you can tell yourself in your mind, now I am done. And when you finish at the end of the day, there won't be a, oh, I should do more, I should do more. No, I've scheduled this amount of time, I've worked this amount of time, and I am done. And you're going to start to feel better about it if you really, I, I know... As entrepreneurs, we resist the whole being locked into a schedule and being told what to do because we're free spirits and we want to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, and how we want to do it. But that's not realistic in this sense when it comes to your happiness and your being fulfilled and growing and making profits in your business. So come to grips with the fact that you're not going to get it all done, then schedule your time work the schedule. I like to tell people to schedule their time and time their schedule. And when you're done, you're done. And then the third tip I'm going to give you is to 
not try to be everywhere on social media. It's better to develop a good strong presence on two or three social media networks than to be weak everywhere. So figure out where your audience is, go to where your audience is, go to where the market is, go to where you're gonna find the good connections and clients and customers and develop strong presence there. And don't try to just spread everything out all over because you're gonna have a lot more success if you focus on just the two or three main places where your audience is at. Don't worry about the other places. Yes, you can have a page or a presence there and do something there every now and then or auto feed stuff there every now and then. But you know what? If you're not everywhere, doesn't mean your business is gonna fail. Especially if you've taken the time to figure out where you need to be, where the key places are for you, which social media networks are the best for you um, to be found by your audience, whether that's Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube, um, you name it, Pinterest, of course, you name it. You figure it out and you stick to building a strong presence in only those two or three places where it's really going to count for you. That's going to help you get it all done, tip number one. That's going to help you schedule your time more effectively, tip number two. And that's going to help you build a strong, good um, force to be reckoned with, presence to be noticed on the most important networks in your market and your audience. So I hope that those three tips will help you. If you put them into practice, I know they will. I've put them into practice in my business. I've seen other people who are very successful put them into practice and it will make a difference to both how you feel and how your bank account fills up. So thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.